Hey everybody, this is Zangano, but this is a post from my other blog, a video I'm gonna make. This is a uh, game called Dwarfs, and I'm really excited to bring this to you. It's a really, it's a game with a really unique idea to it, and it's got a whole bunch of different modes to make the game really exciting. So there's a skirmish mode, there's an arcade mode, which I think is the bread and butter of the game. Base defense, which is sort of like a tower defense type game. A campaign where it's got, uh, well, it's basically a tutorial. And then there's a codex here. The codex is really cool. It's a learn how to do it, but it's also got lots of videos. So I'm going to show you an arcade game, just give you a uh, rundown about how the game works. And I'm just going to do a little short game here, so five minutes. Uh, overall, the game's playstyle is really nice. Uh, the graphics are 2D, but it really actually works for the game style. Um, as for what the game's playstyle, or what the game is supposed to be about, this is a sort of dwarf fortress meets lemmings type game where you have to get as much gold as possible. Now, uh, these mineral patches here get you extra minerals. Every little patch gives you one gold. And uh, these caves are sort of a wild card. They can have water, they can have lava, they can have monsters, or they can have treasure, or they can have nothing at all. So, what you can see is this game starts off really slow, but once you get to like the end, where it gets like longer games, uh, if I had a longer YouTube thing, I would definitely play a longer game. But you can see uh, huge, huge, more complicated things. So we're going to see this guy's going to break it. So, oh, no, it's a... This is uh, water. And if it gets to here, it will uh, kill you. So what you have to do is you got to shut down the cave. Now what I'm doing here is I'm turning this into rock, which actually prevents dwarves from digging into the cave and unleashing the water again. Because the, the dwarves just dig randomly. And um, the thing is, everything in this game like this does cost money. So you gotta like, uh, like right now, I'm just I blocked up as much as I can, but um, you can seal off the cave forever, which is uh, which actually gets you some points. But uh, these dwarves are just gonna keep on uh, rocking. So they're just uh, digging, 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 digging. But uh, that's actually pretty bad luck to get one of those so early on. And I see we're going to have another cave thing up here. And that's treasure. So as you can see, this game is uh, very very fun. It actually gets more and more uh, busy and hard as you just keep uh, playing. Because as you can see, it just gets out bigger and bigger. And there's more miners. There's just more, more and more stuff going on. More and more stuff to manage. So this cave is nothing. So here you go. And uh, as you can see, it's a short game. But I really wish I could uh, play a full-length game to give you a really good idea. Because once it gets to like... The 10 minute mark, it gets pretty big. As you saw earlier, that the it goes up to an hour, which can be quite a Iron Man type game. So I'll just even another thing to look out for here. It's an empty cave, so not too much to deal with there. But just, I don't know. I like the game style. I like the way it was developed. It's really fun. It's not nothing in this game is particularly new. But I sort of like it because it is unique in the way that it confluences a bunch of genres of games together in a really, really pleasurable way that makes uh, for good, good gaming. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I could not recommend it more. It's on Steam. It's called Dwarfs. D-W-A-R-F-S. Uh, not Dwarves like with the V. Which is weird because I think that is the proper way to spell it when you're not referencing to people with the, um, the growth disorder, unfortunately. So um, as you can see, they can't dig through the stone. And, uh, yeah, it's really fun. So, as you can see, this miner is getting close to this mineral patch here. And if he changes direction, I'll just I'll just nudge him in another direction. But it looks like he's gonna hit it. There you go. And of course, they're smart enough that they they mine minerals when they see them. And got another burst into a cave here. This is lava. This is the worst thing you can have, actually. So I'm going to have to 
deal with this as fast as possible. Because lava burns through these walls that you put up, unlike water. So what you have to do is you have to make a hole here for the lava to drain into. And that's really all you can do. Or then you again you seal it off. But see there you go, it blows himself up and when that breaks, the lava will just fall in the hole. And crisis averted, and then you go through the slow process of sealing this cave off. Which of course costs money, and you only get money so fast in this game. That's good, at least you got to see, you know, how the different types of play style, and I'm just going to direct him towards the minerals. You can direct these dwarves, but it does cost money, and it gets more expensive the more you direct them, so it's best if you direct them as little as possible. There's the game. Gives you a top score based off of how many you dig up. And I will put that there. And yeah, it's really fun. It's only $10 and it's on Steam. Check it out. See you guys later.